Red for fire, white for ice and snow, blue for water, such as Iceland's flag, and it is accurate. Iceland is a geologically active zone located on a divergent boundary between two main tectonic plates, the Eurasian plate and the North American plates. Volcanic activity in Iceland is often talked about in the news and media, and its numerous glaciers and volcanoes attract tourists from all around the world. Iceland is a geologically young landmass, especially if compared to one of its neighboring landmasses, Greenland, which is one of the oldest landmasses on Earth. Volcanism is said to be the main contributing factor in Iceland's formation. Volcanoes, destructive as their activity is, also create, expanding even 103,000 square kilometers of the area this island encompasses. As of making this video, Iceland's newest island, Surtsey, was created in November of 1963. This creation comes at a cost, as many of Earth's processes do, death and turmoil. Water drawn fields and active volcanoes cause the island center, often referred to as the highlands, to be barren of vegetation, a desert of sorts, resembling lunar and otherworldly landscapes. There were recent eruptions in the Reykjavik Peninsula in southwest Iceland, south of Reykjavik, and these eruptions led to Grindavik being evacuated, and many roads closed both by people and by the lava moving across. Lava fields are formed, and lava flows cool across flat terrain. This lava field in Mudharand along the Stathrasis Peninsula has many interesting features, including potholes in an ancient volcanic crater. Saxo Crater is a similar crater to the west of Budakhran. Lava fields are not too habitable at first. An ecological process known as primary succession can occur in which pioneer species like lichen, algae, and later mosses help build habitable soil upon a bare and habitable surface, like lava rock. Much of Iceland is covered in the mosses atop lava rocks. Due to their biology, as well as the relatively harsh subarctic climate and the volcanic environment they find themselves in, it takes a long time for these lichen and mosses to grow so a single step can set back these organisms decades of growth or even kill them. As lava cools into a solid state, igneous rocks are formed. Sands made from these igneous rocks are black or dark gray, which is very common across Iceland, such as here in the Reynasfjara, the famous namesake black sand beach. A well-known and very common type of igneous rock found in Iceland is basalt. Basalt, especially basalt columns, have a distinct hexagonal cross-section. This is because of the way the rock's cracks forms and grow. Some volcanoes that haven't erupted to recently have caps of ice atop their peaks, like Slagersy Open in western Iceland. Rivers of ice called glaciers make their way through the volcanic mountainous topography of the island. Glaciers cover around 10 to 11 percent of Iceland's surface area, and among the 269 of them, the largest is Vatnajökull. At around 8,000 square kilometers, it is also Europe's largest glacier. Ice layers and glaciers can offer scientists a glimpse into climates of the past, like the rings of a tree, except at a greater scale. A warming climate is causing the country to absorb 40 square kilometers of ice a year. Iceland would have been colder if it was not for the flow of the Gulf Stream, which brings relatively warmer water from the equator all the way north along the Atlantic's boundaries, including Iceland. The Gulf Stream warms the southwest of the island, providing a more habitable climate for a large variety of life, including us. Besides rivers of ice, rivers of water run through the island too. Next time, we'll visit a few of Iceland's waterfalls and touch on some of its water bodies.